Hi, today I'm going to do a really short video about my lip palettes because so many of you have asked about them. Now, they're made by a company called Japanesque, uh, who also make lots of other things. They make makeup brushes, they make tools, they make all different types of palettes. I've never used anything else of theirs, so I don't, I don't know what anything else is like, but I've always used their palettes since I began my career. So when I first saw them, when I first started doing makeup, I didn't have any money at all, and um, they had them in a, a makeup shop in London, and I totally fell in love with them and saved up and bought one, which was uh, quite expensive. But since then, um, every time one breaks, I, I replace it because I absolutely love them so much. Now, um, the, my favourite one is this one. They come in all different sizes, but this one has 14 pans down one side and 14 pans down the other side so it's the 28 pan palette and um, this is one of my favorites I just this is the one I sort of I've tried other ones and this is one I always come back to I keep them in sort of colors sort of sections of colors and I do spend a lot of time figuring out which order they're going to go in because apart from being convenient these for me are so inspiring if I'm on a shoot and I think what kind of a lip shall I do or I'm sort of halfway through the makeup and when I get these palettes on I open them up and I'm, it just gives me so many ideas so when I'm sort of thinking which colours are going to go in I line up for example when I did um, all the nudes I line up sort of all the new nudes that I've got you know there's some new limited editions or whatever and I line them up and I'll kind of put them in order and think, yeah, that should go with that. I'll move them around. And so I do spend a quite, I'm, yeah, I'm quite sort of obsessed with it. So I'll spend time getting them in that order that I think, you know, for me is going to inspire me most of all. I am loving this orange one at the moment, which I created quite recently, actually. And, um, yeah, this, if, I, if I'm on a shoot and I'm thinking, mm, possibly orange, I'll open that. I just, it gets me all going and all excited. Um, and then the reds, and I put lots of different textures in, so I'll, if I'm going to do a red palette, I'll think, well, I want some sheers, I want some uh, mattes, I want some creams, I want, you know, different sort of styles of pigment, um, and that's really useful to me as well, to have them all sort of knowing that I've got all those different textures in there. And I'll always put the names on the other side as well, just because so, that's really, really useful. They do last a long time. Obviously, when the lipsticks go off or get dirty, you know, you, you do need to keep them clean. You do have to clean them. You have to make sure you put clean brushes in them. You can't sort of stick dirty fingers in. But they, they are nice to mix, and you can mix them on the, on the little bits. Sort of, you can have a little palette, you know, a separate little palette. You can just mix them on, um, which I do a lot as well. Or obviously, use the back of your hand. Um, but what is really, really nice is that, they, you know, you can just clean them out or take the colours out and replace the colours if you get, you know, limited editions that aren't available anymore or you think a lipstick's kind of got dirty or something. And you can just replace it. And every now and again, you can take them all out, you can clean the palette and you can use it again. Eventually, they do break. Um, here's one that I've had for a long time. I, I forgot I, this one I obviously did in a hurry because I see I didn't write anything on here. These were all my kind of crazy bright pinks and, and lilacs. And this one has been sellotaped and sellotaped and sellotaped and cracked. And I'm afraid that one has finally got to be laid to rest. Um, but I have got a new one, a couple of new ones that I'm working on at the moment. One is Bordeaux and really, really deep browns and... and um, yeah, sort of really dark, almost black lipsticks. I'm working on one of those along with a sort of more brownie one. So yeah, I'm always kind of updating them and, and thinking about new ones. But I've been using them for 20 years and I just, I, I still love them. I know there are cheaper palettes out there and lots of cheaper palettes. But for me, it's as much about how much they inspire me and how beautiful they look um, as it is about what they're carrying and how many lipsticks I can get in them or whatever. I like to see them and I, for me they're the ones that, that look the best and um, I just really, really, really enjoy using them. Now for more information on these palettes I have posted lots of links and detailed information on my blog as well as quite clear photographs and information about the lip colours that are inside there so if you want to know more please go to my blog and have a look. Um, before I go, I'll just say that I've just recreated the smoky eye look that I had in um, the video last week, but I've, this time I've used it with a pale pink gloss, just so you can see how it how it works when the lips aren't quite as bright. Oh, and also this nail polish I'm wearing today is by Model Zone, and it's Turkish Delight. Anyway, I hope that was helpful, and thanks for watching.